Recently I was reading the beautiful words of the psalmist when he said that the sparrow and the swallow have found a place to lay their young, even thine altars, O Lord. Now if that wouldn't be an inconvenience, nests in the altars. But somehow those little birds knew that the God of heaven cares about little birds and their young. He cares about people too, doesn't he? Oh, to have that compassion that communicates to men and women the love of the Savior. I remember when I was just a boy going into the prayer meeting before the gospel meeting. There was always a prayer meeting before the gospel meeting. The brethren thought it was highly presumptuous to preach the gospel without praying for the lost. And the men would gather down in the basement and they had little mats for their knees and they all knelt to pray. It was not an unusual thing at all when we got up for the little boys to notice there were little puddles on the seats where the men had been praying. It's not maudlin. It wasn't theatrics. They really did care about people being lost. I came across a little quotation from a book called The Whisper Test by Marianne Bird. She writes, I grew up knowing I was different, and I hated it. I was born with a cleft palate, and when I started school, my classmates made it clear to me how I looked to others. A little girl with a misshapen lip, crooked nose, lopsided teeth, and garbled speech. There was, however, a teacher in the second grade. We all adored her. Mrs. Leonard was her name. She was short, round, and happy. Annually, we had a hearing test. Mrs. Leonard gave the test to everyone in the class, and finally it was my turn. I knew from past years that as we stood against the door and covered one ear, the teacher sitting at her desk would whisper something, and we would have to repeat it back. Things like, the sky is blue, or do you have new shoes? I waited there for those words that God must have put into her mouth. Those seven words that changed my life. Mrs. Leonard said in her whisper, I wish you were my little girl. Brothers and sisters, God has put such words into our mouth. God of heaven looks down on poor sinners and he says, I wish you were mine. What day is it that we ought to tell them today is the day they ought to get saved? Would tomorrow be a good day? If today's the day they need to get saved, then today's the day we need to tell them, isn't it? 